Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video that I've been so looking forward to do. I was actually waiting for one fragrance. I've been trying to get it for like three weeks, but we are going to be doing a fragrance haul and it is going to be only niche fragrances. Well, one of them is kind of debatable. Like some people say it's niche, some people say it's not. My bank account agrees that it is in fact niche. So uh, <laughs> that's why we're including it in this video. But yeah, guys, we're going to be talking about five new, I'm looking over there because that's where I just seated, five new niche fragrances in my collection. I'm so excited to share these with you. A lot of these are fragrances that are just super luxurious fragrances that I've been really, really wanting for a long time. I think some of them I never mentioned, but I've been really looking for them for a long time and I'm super excited to share them with you. So as I said, I'm so excited to share these with you guys. I feel like I've been sort of out of my step with all of my videos, like to be honest, and I just wanna talk about this a little bit, I don't wanna bore you too much, but I feel like the last few videos that I've posted, like none of them were really what you guys wanted to see. I feel like I was com like I was out of it in terms of like creating, and I just, I don't know where my head was. Um, I, I just felt like I kind of lost touch a little bit but I have a good feeling that that is about to change. So now let's get on with the fragrances that I've recently added to my collection, all of them being niche. Now, as I said, one of them, it's kind of debatable. A lot of people say that this is actually a designer fragrance, but I paid the price for it, so I'm going to put it into this niche uh, fragrance video, and that is Sailing Day by Replica. Now, this one is a, an amazing summer fragrance. I tried this for the first time last summer and was immediately enamored by it because it is so mineral, it is so beautiful. It has that sort of like, you're on a sailing trip on the high seas sort of scent. It's refreshing, but it has a lot of like that ionic, like salty ocean, like mineralness to it, which I really, really like. I think this is amazing to wear in the hot weather and the weather here has finally come to be super, super sunny and warm as well. So yeah, if you're looking for an amazing summer fragrance, I will have a video out at some point as well. But this one, Sailing Day by Replica, is fantastic. It smells so, so good. And I think especially in the heat, this is a fragrance that would actually refresh you and cool you down. So yeah, I've added this to my collection. I think this was the first or second one that I got um, out of the ones that I'm showing you today. But yeah, Sailing Day by Replica, one of the fragrances that I have recently added to my collection. And I'm so happy about it. This is my first 100 ml um, from the Replica line as well. So far I have two 30 mLs and I think one of them I'm actually going to finish this summer. But yeah, that's not the point of this video. Um, we have Sailing Day as my first new fragrance. Now, the second one here you guys have actually seen before because I filmed a whole unboxing just for this fragrance, but I wanted to show it again because it is beautiful, it's an amazing fragrance, and it deserves all the mentions, which is interesting coming from me because I initially thought this was a total scam and I thought people are crazy because I couldn't smell it. Anyway, we're of course talking about Maison France Coq Jean Baccarat Rouge uh, 540. I have the Eau de Parfum version and I'm just going to unbox it for you quickly again. So if you watch the unboxing video, don't be mad at me that this is now your, uh, well, your second try at seeing this unboxed. It comes in this and you have this little um, thing here where you pull out the fragrance. And then as you can see, there it is. So we have the beautiful Baccarat Rouge 540. Don't let the packaging fool you. I have worn this quite a bit, which you guys have seen. If um, you follow me on Instagram, I always show you my fragrances, the, day, the ones that I'm wearing or like choosing together with you there. So if you don't follow me there, I would highly recommend it. But yeah, this is the beautiful bottle. There we go, that is the bottle right there. Look at how beautiful and gorgeous that is. So yeah, I have added this one as my first uh, Maison France Coeur de Jeanne fragrance to my collection. I was mentioning in my last wish list that I really want to add one from Maison France Coeur de Jeanne and I was in between Gentle Fleurgy Gold and Baccarat Rouge 540 and I want to thank you guys because you were the ones that told me, well, get Baccarat, you know, it is, just, it is Baccarat, just get it um, as your first one, and that's exactly what I did. And I'm so happy I have it in my collection now. The scent of this, of course, if you're like me and you cannot, or if you are like I was, and you cannot smell this, it is a beautiful 
like burnt sugar candy floss kind of scent with a little bit of a woody undertone but to me this is just a perfect like burnt sugar it is light and airy but because it is burnt it has you know like a certain like depth and presence to it as well and it is just wonderful i wore this last night when i was meeting or when we were meeting a friend and he came over and he was like oh you smell nice and i was like yeah that's baccarat he's super into perfume as well so uh in case you're watching this hello um but yeah baccarat is now in my collection and i couldn't be happier the next fragrance i have here is one that i was kind of debating getting ever since i first smelled it and i could never get it out of my head i will link the video up here where i first tried these fragrances and i smelled it in that video and i was like well I like it's inter it's very interesting it's very different it's very nice hmm and then I couldn't get it out of my head I kept getting going back to the sample and back again and back again and for some reason like when I tried it now like in April May I just felt like okay that's it I, I want it I need it and I actually posted about it on Instagram and I was saying like yeah I'm like I'm really going back to the sample all the time I might need to add a full bottle of it sometime soon and I was prepared to just go out and buy the full bottle but one of my lovely followers she said hey Yasmin like if you want it I'm actually selling mine it has like a little bit left it's just I don't know it's not working for her anymore so it is a first in the sense that this is I think the first ever perfume that I got pre-owned I don't think I've ever done that but I have told you so much about it without telling you the name. We are talking about Southern Bloom by Goldfield and Banks. And the packaging of this one is gorgeous. Um, she sent it to me with like all the original box and everything. And then when you come here, you have the little card that explains about the scent. I'm not gonna read it out now, but I love the, um, the pink lake that they use for the marketing of this one. It's so beautiful. And then we have the bottle in here as well. So you can see there is a pretty good dent in it already, but I'm super excited to wear this more. This is from the 2017-2018 Harvest. Um, Goldfield and Banks does everything in like a full perfume concentration. So I think it's like 30% oils, which is amazing. And yeah, Southern Bloom to me is the most amazing, most unusual floral scent that I've ever smelled. It has like... It has a baronia flower, I think it's called, which is native to Australia, which is, gold, is what Golden and Max is all about, like native to Australia ingredients. So it has a baronia flower and it has cassis and it has like all these notes that come together, but it is not sweet at all. It just smells like pure floral petals. There is no fruitiness to it. There is no, you know, sweetness to it. It is just a fresh beautiful flower and um what i say when i like what do i mean when i say fresh about this it is really refreshing like i love to wear this when i feel like a little bit like i could have some more energy you know maybe it's after lunch you're sitting in the office it's a bit too warm and you're just like okay what do i do and i had my sample with me a lot of times and i would just spray it to sort of feel refreshed and uh, re-energized and um yeah i have to say it's a beautiful fragrance. I'm so happy I added it to my collection. I am sure this dent will go down a lot more and I just think like the bottles and, and the juice, it, it looks so, so good. Um, but yeah, Southern Bloom, if you have not tried it yet, I highly recommend it. It is the perfect summer fragrance. Get on it guys because I'm sure you will love it as well. Now, moving on to the fragrance that was the reason that this video is quite late. Now, we are I'm just going to tell you the name and then I'll tell you a little bit of the backstory and why it took so long for me to get it. It is Vanille de Tahiti by Paris Monte Carlo. Now guys, I, when I went, we have a local perfumery, like they have different locations, but it is very local um, and I absolutely love them. Like they are so knowledgeable. Um, they have mostly niche scents, like some, you know, like designers like Dior, Chanel as well, but they have mostly niche scents, but they're so knowledgeable. They're always there to like tell you about new fragrances, but even if you just go in and say like, hey, I want to smell like the new from Killian, um, they will just like do it and, and they're so nice and just, I, I really, really like that store. So as, you know, we were still in lockdown until like four weeks, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, um, so we were in lockdown for a long time, that's what I'm trying to say. 
and I wanted, I, they had given me actually, it was them that had given me a sample of this one and I loved it. I, I tried that sample and I was like, that is amazing, I want that. And then during lockdown, they had a service where they would like bring it to your house or you could just go and pick it up there. And I really wanted to get it from them because they were the ones that put me onto the sample. Like there, there was no like other like discounts that I could find for this one. And in that case, I really like to actually go to, you know, where the sample is from or like support the store that's very close to me. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do that. But I thought because, you know, I'm a little bit, I think, different than some people in that I don't always want to have the 100ml, like the biggest bottle possible. Um, I'm very, very happy having the smaller sizes. And, they, and there is a 50ml of this one, but they didn't have it on their website. So I called and I said, hey... Um, do you carry this? And they said, no, we don't carry it, but we can order it for you. Um, it will be shipped to the store and then you can pick it up here. And I said, okay, cool, let's do that. Fast forward like a week later, I haven't gotten a call. They, they told me it would take a week. Like a week later, I haven't gotten a call from them that it's there. 10 days have passed and then I decided to call them. I was like, hey, um, I, I wanted to order this. I was, you know, wondering, you know, is it there? And she said, no, unfortunately not. They're having some issues with shipping. And if I don't get a call in another week, I should call back. And then that's what I did. They said, well, no, they still don't have it. Otherwise, they surely would have called me. Like, they really assured me that they, I would have gotten the call if they had had it. And then I was kind of like, oh, you know, I don't want to wait for it that much longer. I had seen it in stock and in some, like, online retailers. But I decided that... I really wanted to buy it from them, if that makes sense. I'm not sure if you ever had a story like this. Leave me a comment down below if you've ever, like, sort of made it more difficult for yourself or, like, really were like, okay, I need to get this from that specific place. Um, but to me, I really wanted to get it from them. I love the store. I want them to, like, stay here so I can always go there and try new fragrances. Um, so, yeah. Then I was like, well, you know, you said you don't carry the 50 ml usually, but do you have the 100 ml in stock? And they were like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have it here, we have it there. Which, you know, location of us is closest to you? Do you want it to have it delivered to you? And I was like, well, you know what, wherever it is, I'll just go there. Um, you know, I'm not walking too much anyway. So I just walked there, had a great time once again. Like before I got this, I was actually walking around, like smelling different fragrances. I finally smelled Angel Share and oh my God, guys. That is the next fragrance on my wish list, and I also found the fragrance I'm going to show you next because that is a fragrance that I've been eyeing for a while and it was on sale 50% off. Anyway, I finally got my Vanille de Tahiti from them. They had, you know, kept it there, like reserved it for me, and it was just absolutely beautiful. I will show you the bottle now. Now, Vanille de Tahiti is a fragrance that smells like a pure vanilla pod. It smells like you have the, you know, oily vanilla pot in front of you and you're scraping out um, the inside to put into, I don't know, a cake or whatever. So this is not, you know, like your super sweet vanilla. This is not like a, it doesn't smell like vanilla cake. It smells like pure, true, oily black vanilla. That's really what I get from this one. It is super easy going. It, I don't know, it almost feels oily on your skin because it is like just an oily scent. Wow, but it is so like pure and it is so, it is really the essence of vanilla. If, if you had the vanilla pot, this is exactly what it would smell like. So yeah, that is Vanille Tahiti, the fragrance that took me long to get and then even longer to like when I decided I was going to buy it to actually have it in my collection. But now I have it and I couldn't be happier. If you have never tried this and you're a fan of vanilla scents, I will have a vanilla video. Actually, look, you guys let me know. Do you want me to do a vanilla video even though it is the summer now? Because I now have um, Annie, I'm getting Lyra, so I feel like I could be in a point where I might want to share some vanilla comparisons. But yeah, this one will be in it and will be one of my absolute favorites, if not my favorite, because it is so beautiful, guys. This is... It's delectable. It is amazing so if you like vanilla fragrances highly recommend you go and try out Paris Monte Carlo's Vanille de Tahiti and now after the longest rambling session I'm just going to show you the final fragrance that I got I had no intentions to buy this when I went to the store but I saw it was 50% off I knew that I liked it and I was like that's an opportunity that I do not want to pass up 
and I got a fragrance from Wilhelm, which is a house that I've tried out before. I have some samples from them, but I had tried this one actually. I had tried this one and room service. Then I got the samples. All of the samples I was kind of like, hmm, not entirely my style, but I, I kept having this one in my head and I was like, why? Wow, but you really like that Moon Carnival. So yeah, this is Moon Carnival and I'm going to show you the packaging because I don't remember where it was, but what you can see here, I think that's, no, sorry, that's how I need to turn it. The design is basically just them spelling out a name for each perfume. So each of these boxes is different and they will always spell out the name of the fragrance. So this one just says Moon Carnival, Moon Carnival. And if you got something else like room service, it would just say room service all over. This is the 100 ml and I will show you how this opens because I think it's very beautiful. So it comes out like this. You have this yellow box, like little logo here, big logo here, and then that just lifts off and here you have your fragrance and yeah i think it is absolutely beautiful like not just the presentation but also the scent let me put everything down so i can properly show you that so yeah this is what the bottle looks like it is really beautiful and this is amazing this has like freesia iris tonka bean and it is a very like fresh and uplifting, but a, a super fun scent as well. I feel like sort of like irisy type of scents can turn very, they can turn a certain type of way very, very quickly. But this one is such a fun scent and I really, really enjoy it. It has a magnetic cap, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I really, really enjoyed this. I, as I said, I had no intentions of purchasing this, but I went in and they were like, yeah, it's 50% off. And I, I literally asked this because I wasn't sure. Um, they only had a 50% off because it's going out of their, um, what they're selling. It's not that this is being discontinued, it's just it's being taken out of that store. So yeah, I feel like that was an opportunity that I could not pass up and I'm so happy I have this in my collection now. I think it looks so cool and it's really like, it's a really displayable bottle if you will. So yeah guys, that is it for my video. I hope you have really enjoyed going through some of my new niche purchases with me. It's not some of them, it's actually all of them. And uh, I don't think there'll be many more anytime soon. But yeah, I'm super, super happy with all these fragrances. Let me know which one was your favorite that I got below. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe yourself to my channel to talk about more perfume, some beauty, but mostly perfume. And yeah guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see my next video. Bye guys.